G'day, Josh here with another COD mobile video. And this is an exciting one. Global launch is right around the corner, like really, really close, a couple of days away. And season one has officially launched. So the pre-season is officially over. And not only has season one officially launched, there's been a ton of new changes in games. So we have a full breakdown here. We're gonna go through them one at a time. New themed rewards for ranked multiplayer and battle royale. Obviously that makes sense. New season, new theme, new premium and free battle pass rewards as well. Awesome, love free stuff. All right, multiplayer changes. We have practice mode. Train your skills, weapons and settings against AI for reduced XP in this new mode and a tactical scope sensitivity option in the settings menu, which is great as well. You can customize the sensitivity on that scope on its own. Then ranked mode improvements and optimizations. No rank point penalty for joining a match in progress. Now, basically you could randomly spawn into a match that was less than 50% complete, but that means you could spawn into one that was 49% complete and you were losing quite badly and all of a sudden you either had to quit and or stick it out and you would lose rank So now you won't lose rank if you spawn into a, a semi-complete match and do lose which is great Optimized scoring in battle royale improved matchmaking system uh, Then multiplayer changes improved scoring system in domination Increased respawn invincibility duration in frontline so you can't get spawn camped as badly uh, improved spawn location logic in frontline goes to the same point that I just made. Improved mantling over some objects. There were a couple of objects that uh, were tricky to jump over in certain conditions, so I'm glad that that's been addressed. Added a sh shadow quality option in settings menu. Looking forward to jumping in and looking at that. Optimized water surfaces. Sounds good. Optimized lighting graphics. Improved double tap to scope feature, which isn't something that I use because it's not quite as quick as just playing claw, but uh, any improvement's a good one, or in that regard anyway. Improved firing experience of assault rifles and automatic sniper rifles, awesome. Improved 3D touch controls. Improved abnormal jitter while firing. Improved damage of Tempest Operator skill, which I always felt like was a bit underwhelming, so that's a good adjustment. Improved the firing stability of assault rifles, as well as the MSMC uh, submachine gun, which is crazy, so it definitely needed some stability improvement. Slightly reduced hip fire performance, I'm fine with that. Slightly reduced ADS speed and reload speed of the PDW-57. That was a pretty crazy broken gun, so I'm okay with that too. Uh, some battle royale changes here. Improve the usability of various zip lines. Uh, I personally never had any issues with them, so I'm not sure why that was changed, but changed nonetheless. Improve loot distribution in tunnels. Improve distribution of supply boxes at the farm. Improve the flight path of the aircraft during spawn. Adjusted aircraft speed, allowing players to better strategize. So I assume that means that the, uh, the aircraft speed has been slowed down somewhat. Uh, optimized loadout interface for improved usability. Uh, so that is when you're viewing your bag. So I'll have to jump in and have a look at what that looks like. Visual markers removed after defeating bosses. That's, that's fine. Means that uh, the loot's no longer up for grabs. So I don't mind that being the case. Improved abnormal jitter while firing. Similar change there to uh, in multiplayer. Improved damage of AKS 74U and MSMC at close range. Reduced damage of the PDW 57 at close range. And reduce the scope speed of the Arctic. 0.50, which was the best gun, uh, sniper in uh, in Battle Royale. Improved effects of helicopters crash and explosion. Sounds good to me. Improved view distance while in helicopter. Also another nice adjustment. Optimized vehicle driving performance. There were times that uh, driving a vehicle, the physics were pretty strange, so that does sound good. Improved availability of 7.62 and 5.56 ammunition. Awesome, it's the most common ammo out there, so having more of it is always nice. And uh, I'm not sure if you, you know this, but in Call of Duty Mobile Battle Royale, you have no limit to how much ammunition you can carry. It's outside of your bed, it's, it's counted separately to your backpack. So you can carry unlimited ammo. So you should always be picking up all ammo uh, never leave any ammo behind because it, it doesn't slow you down and it doesn't take up space in your backpack. So always grab ammo so you never run out. Slightly reduced range of Ninja's grapple gun, but also slightly increased the charging time of the Ninja's grapple gun. So it's just a little bit less useful now. Uh, slightly reduced the charging time of Clown's abilities. Optimized movement in third and first person perspectives. Improved landscape surrounding Nuketown. 
Improved looting UI when upgrade is available. That's a good improvement. Uh, then some system and client upgrades. Improved performance in Battle Royale. Improved resolution for low and medium devices. Improved, oh sorry, optimized game performance for low memory devices. Improved refresh rates in Battle Royale for low memory devices. Improved spectating user interface and user experience in Search and Destroy. Added function to send messages to team or all in matches. That sounds interesting. Optimized tutorial experience. Improved UI for mode and map selection. I'll be able to show you what that looks like as well. Uh, improved ability to remove loadout notifications. Improved party invitation system in chat. Added new tooltips throughout the game. And then some bug fixes down the bottom there as well. Fixed jitter of gyroscope feature. Fixed issue where grenades could not be directed at a wall. Fixed an issue where the DLQ33 would randomly ADS while firing. Fixed an issue with extreme recoil on M4 LMG and various other bug fixes. That's a ton. That's a big wall of text I just read through. Lots of changes. So let's actually jump into the game as we look at this new intro video. Very, very nice. Some of the uh, graphic updates are definitely quite nice. I have jumped in and added a little bit of a sneak peek. So let's go ahead and we will show you around some of the changes. Jump into a quick training mode. Jump into a quick battle royale. We won't play it through, but we will start it out. So... If we're going into the multiplayer mode, actually, let's jump back out and look at season one. Uh, let me jump back out there. There we go. Season one, it is actually very similar rewards to uh, the preseason. So if you bought the battle pass in the preseason, there is no need to buy the premium battle pass unless you're planning on getting above level 100 because then you're looking at getting crates now instead of credits. Uh, and these crates have some decent things you can pull from them, like a Red Action DLQ33, uh, and this has a Kill Prevents Revealing Victim Death Location and a 10% player XP increase, which is pretty crazy. And this one, the, uh, the shotgun, Red Action Shotgun, able to take a bit more explosive damage when sliding when using this gun. So that's quite an interesting little gun perk there as well. So lots of other items in these crates as well, obviously. So I think that's a little bit nicer than just getting random uh, COD points. No, it was just credits. It wasn't COD points. It was just credits once you uh, had exceeded 100. But other than that, you're still looking at the same stuff. Still getting a red action AK-47 at level 100, so on and so forth. So I've already got that. So I won't need to buy the premium battle pass as it is the preseason battle pass cloned. Now let's jump into multiplayer uh, and let's select... As we bring up the selection option here, practice versus AI. We have lost uh, gun game for now, but I imagine it will be back with global launch. So let's jump in, confirm. You've got your map selection there. We'll keep it on random and let's hit start and let's see what the, uh, the practice versus AI looks like. I haven't done this yet and I don't have my headphones plugged in, so I don't actually have audio right now, but that's fine. Uh, I believe you can hear what's going on and that's the important thing. So we 100% don't have any humans other than me in this lobby. It's just bots. So we get to run around and shred against bots. Uh, well, I believe we're just playing domination. I think practice mode would just be domination. I'm not 100% on that, but we're about to find out. Oh, it might be frontline because we're invincible. So it may actually be frontline. Uh, so let's get to the other side of the map as quickly as possible and see if we can uh, shred some enemies here. Get a few kills and then we'll jump out into a battle royale. See if I can get some uh, accurate shooting. Playing at a slightly weird angle right now. So let's see if I can address that as well. As we, uh, oh, there is a reduced hip fire accuracy, but I did get the headshot in the end there. All right, mantling over that was fine. No issues there. The kill through the wall there. Super exposed right now. All right, and they're all invincible as well. So we definitely want to get back into cover. I think I'll just play it out till I die. So this is the uh, the risk when spawn camping down this end. They're all going to be invincible as I miss all my shots there. Let's see if I can get that guy over the... Uh, there we go. So once again, knowing these are bots, you can be playing a little bit more stupidly, I guess you could say. Uh, so that'll do it. We've got, a, we've got a couple of score streaks up. So let's go ahead and concede from that game. That is what your practice mode looks like. Uh, In-game stuff... Pretty similar in multiplayer, but let's go ahead and jump into a Battle Royale game and let's see if it is smoother. Uh, I haven't played a Battle Royale since the, since the update, so we're going to have a pretty uh, decent chance of testing it out right now. So Battle Royale, we get to uh, rank all the way back down to season, uh, to rookie one, 
Uh, and now we actually get to choose whether we want to queue up solo or not. And I pretty much always play solo. So let's go ahead and queue up solo. And I just noticed, what is that? Ah, you get a little bit of a, an in-game overview here as well, which that's definitely new. So that's nice. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't think we can choose different maps yet. We're going to jump in and go, let's go first person. Really glad that is an option out of game now because you should just be able to toggle in game. And if anyone can toggle in game, then you have to run third person because it's better. But I prefer playing first person. So now I get to queue up first person solo. I don't have to play solo versus squads anymore. Let's go ahead and queue into this first person only lobby, solo lobby. So this is, uh, this is a couple of changes that are actually really big for me that weren't mentioned in those patch notes. Uh, we have the new Airborne class coming soon. It's not available yet, so we'll just use Scout for now. I imagine almost everyone will be using Scout at this stage. Now, let's test out this new Chopper view range as we uh, jump in. Come on, why isn't it letting me jump in? Oh, hello. Got some server issues here. Come on. Uh, all right, we are driving the Chopper now, so let's go ahead and... Uh, Take off. I want to do two things here. I want to take it off and... Uh, oh, yes. We can definitely see further. There's less uh, fog of war, so to speak, as we have multiple choppers in the air. The other thing I want to do is jump out and watch it crash. Here we go. Let's see if the explosion is bigger. Ooh! I'm not sure if it was uh, too much bigger, but it did look nice. So I'll take that. I'm fine with that. All right, 15 seconds. Then we get to jump into an actual game and see if the gameplay does feel smoother. Uh, the part that I'm most interested in is when you are actually in a gun battle. It always felt way slower in Battle Royale versus multiplayer. Uh, it always kind of felt a bit laggy. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe, but it just didn't feel smooth. So one of the things I touched on is smoother gameplay in Battle Royale. So let's see if that is actually the case. And do these planes fly more slowly over the map? Look at the view distance though. This is incredible. Oh, the other thing I wanted to check in settings was uh, shadow options. Can I actually go in and adjust my real-time shadows are on? Awesome. So we'll keep that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump out here. I'm not sure if that was any slower or not. Definitely felt uh, nice, though, jumping with such a, a great view. Now, I love landing on these little towers here to the, I guess, to the right of launch base if we're basing or uh, using north as a... Ooh, ooh, hello. This is all new up here as well. Ooh. Have I never landed on this? Wait. Wait a minute. These are changed. Oh, no. I'm, I'm getting super confused. That is what I usually land on up there. Let's go check that out. But before we get there, uh, as I am playing this without audio, so... I'm not sure that I'll necessarily hear everyone that runs up behind me, but I also, also do like enjoying uh, running up here and looting the two crates that are up here. You usually have free reign of these uh, and usually get some decent stuff out of them. What do we get here? We get ourselves a cluster grenade, a smoke grenade. Uh, we will replace our rocket launcher there. We don't necessarily need that. Now we are looking for a hero, an, an opponent to take on. Switch back to our, uh, I think that's an AKS. Ooh, hello. Was that an enemy or was that a ghost that I'm imagining? No, there definitely is an enemy there. Okay, that definitely felt smoother. If you have played during the beta, that was not that. That was much more multiplayer-like. But typically during the beta, it was quite laggy as we're going to switch out our uh, AKS there for a sniper. Hello. Looking at that uh, nice skin there too. All right. Let's continue. Actually... I might go the, uh, the AK here. One of the guns that I don't actually have a skin for, but we'll use it for now. What is it, a PDW. Oh, I could potentially use that too. All right, let's use our scout ability. No one else in the immediate vicinity, but I would love to jump into another gunfight just to ensure that that wasn't a, a uh, coincidence that that one was so smooth. So let's, uh, let's just run towards the zone like a headless chook making a ton of noise. We can't slide under that. Okay, I'd never tried that before. I was hoping I could. Mantling over that was no problems. Get ourselves... Oh, no adrenaline in that one. It's disappointing. All right. Uh, actually, I might use the ASM here. Got a skin on that, so that's always fun. Uh, my, oh, we have a, a new loadout here. A little bit. Not 
too much different. Oh, the ammo's on the bottom right now. Okay, I see it. A little bit different, not too much. Uh, scopes, don't really have a second scope to swap out, so we will just stick with what we've got in the ASM right now. Oh, no, I might grab that red dot. Use the red dot for now. So that'll be in my backpack. Swap that out. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello. I see the footsteps. We've got someone behind us. So we're going to play super aggro again. Where'd those footsteps go? There they are. And we get some shots on, but not enough to kill. This is, this is definitely a bot. So we get another elimination there. A slight little bit of lag at the end there, but that wasn't too bad. All right, get all of our upgrades done. Send off that scout marker again. What else do we have in the immediate vicinity? Nothing. But I am loving this. This is definitely much, much smoother than most of Battle Royale gameplay during the beta. And this is really, really enjoyable. Um, so just playing super aggressive here. Not really caring if we die as we're just... Well, I'm not going to play this out entirely. This video is already at about 16 minutes. So I don't want it to be uh, too much longer than this. But I would love to jump into a sniper fight if I could. So let's see if I can find one more hero to maybe take out at range with my XPR and just see what that's like with the smoother gameplay. It was also often a little bit glitchy, a little bit laggy at distance, long range gunfights. So got to find another enemy and then see if we can get that happening. And then I'll wrap up this video. If I can find another enemy, which uh, seems to be a struggle at this point. Let's see what loot we can find in this little uh, hut here. Get ourselves some more ammo. Oh, yes. We'll switch across to the M4 now. Get to rock uh, quite a nice skin. Get to uh, reload that. Get some more ammo in our magazine. And we'll head up here. Oh, yes. Use our uh, scout ability and then we'll upgrade it shortly as well. Uh, I'm not sure this is the chip terminals online just yet. But uh, once it is online, we'll be able to upgrade it. Are we able to access this? Oh, we can access it. That one's missing. There we go. So they are online. I uh, Why'd that not open? Open sesame. There we go. Get ourselves some... Oh, yes, please. So hang on. Let's compare the zoom-in times here. That's the XPR. And I see the footsteps on the map. I do see them. It doesn't seem that much slower. I think we're still pretty good. All right, so that is definitely a bot. There's no way that's not a bot. So we'll just uh, try and put some rain, put some uh, space in between the two of us and then see what I can do at a distance. So we'll uh, up here on the hill. Let's find them. Oh, yes. That was way better. Okay, I'm very, very impressed with these battle royale changes. It's actually taken the mode from something that I just played to get my daily quest to something that I'll actually enjoy doing now. And I just saw... Uh, shot markers on the map in this direction. So we're going to see if we can take out one the final enemy before I wrap this up. They're probably uh, a fair way this way. Oh, there's a crate. Oh, hello. All right, what have we got? Can we get ourselves another sniper kill? There's going to be a close range sniper kill, I think. Oh, no, they're going for a... Uh... Oh, they stopped running. It is. That's a human, I think. I'm not 100% on this. No, maybe not. Maybe not. So that wasn't the one that was shooting, I don't think. So we may have... Where, were the, where was the smoke coming from? I actually lost where that loot crate was. I was expecting the smoke to still be up. I think that'll do it. Can't see any other heroes. Do a quick zoom in. See if we got any... When I say heroes, I mean enemies, of course. I'm getting my uh, terminology mixed up between Chess Rush and Call of Duty. <laughs> That's funny. No other enemies in the immediate vicinity... As we do get a little bit of lag there, which can often mean that someone is coming into range. Uh, so that doesn't seem to have changed. So it might mean that someone is within like a 400 meter radius of me. Uh, that's pretty common in Battle Royale style games. And I also don't have my graphics max so the game runs as smooth as possible. So it, the game would actually look a little bit nicer than this if the, if the graphics were maxed, but then it does get a touch choppy on my device in Battle Royale mode. So one final scout send off there. Nothing in the immediate vicinity. So we will wrap up. We'll quit out there. Uh, we, I will be penalised, but I'm at bottom rank right now anyway, so it won't actually cost me anything. That is an overview of the changes. I'm really, really impressed with the uh, smoothness of Battle Royale. Now that is big for me, but everything else is kind of subtle. Kind of uh, low-key. 
I'll give you a look at where my loadout is at right now. All the skins that I have. Uh, actually, let's switch it across to this mode. Give you a look. We'll start all the way at the bottom. All the skins that I've earned during the preseason. We've got all the regular stuff you unlock. Then we move up. We've got an ML, uh, sorry, an M4 LMG Red Triangle. Got the HS2126 Technologic, AKS74U Yellow Snow, the Red Striker, the Tropical BY15, the Red Triangle Arctic, the Tropical XPR, the PDW Zombie Gene. That one is quite nice. The Yellow Triangle DLQ33. I quite enjoy that one as well. The balloons on that shoddy look amazing. Electric HG40 is one of my favorite skins, actually, though the gun is a little bit underwhelming. I really enjoy the Magic Bull skin on the RPD, but I'm not a massive fan of using LMGs. April Fool's Day PDW. The Ribbon Explosion, another gorgeous-looking skin, but I'm just not a massive fan of the LMGs. Racing Stripes on the ASM. The pin stripes on the Type 25, that's a really, really nice skin. Another incredible skin is this Evil Clown skin on the M16, but just not a massive fan of the gun. Ancient Runes there on the MSMC. Then we've got the uh, G Series M4, real nice. And finally, the Red Action AK-47 with increased weapon firing range and broadcast effects when kid getting kills. Your kills are highlighted with a, uh, a red effect from memory. So that is looking very, very nice. Got some uh, pistols and things as well as some parachutes and stuff like that. But nothing as exciting as those gun skins. So that is a look at the changes. The season is coming very, very soon. What am I currently at? Level 80. Getting close to level 81. Yes, season global launch right around the corner. So definitely set your calendars and go and follow the uh, PlayCod mobile Twitter account to get the exact time and date of when launch is happening. But I'm pretty sure it's October 1st. So only like three days away, four days away, depending on whether it's October 1st AU time or US time, probably US time. So thank you for checking out this video. Let me know what you think of the changes down below. And uh, as we get a uh, invite to jump into a game there, but we will, are wrapping up a video, so we won't be accepting that. Let me know what you think of all the changes down below, how excited you are to start playing Call of Duty Mobile when global release hits. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.